the latest buzzword is religion. People want to make it out to be a bad thing, when the reality is it's a good thing. You see, habits and practicing certain religious observances or doing certain things that are profitable for you are good religious and part of religion. They're good religious practices. For instance, reading your Bible. If you read your Bible two days in a row, guess what? It could become a habit. That would become a religious practice. It's part of religion to read your Bible. Seven days without the Word makes one week. People like to say that they want religion, they want relationship, not religion, but the bottom line is you may have a religion without a relationship that may not help you, but having a relationship without religion is false. You have a religion, whether you know it or not. You may call it something else and pretend like you're not going to church or pretend like you don't like to be part of the establishment, but that's just protesting against God, really. Because God walks in the midst of the seven churches. He doesn't walk in the midst of people outside the church. It says he walks in the midst of the seven churches. You are an established person in the body of Christ, whether you know it or not. You are a member in particular. You have been called, chosen, and selected to be a part of the bride, to be a part of the body of Christ, to be a part of His church. So, it's funny you know, and humorous to listen to people argue that false argument because then they divide over stupid things rather than care about the things that are more important to God than the reality of what people are doing today in deciding what they are or aren't based upon their own choices. My religion is simple. I like to leave it in God's hands. I like what God calls me. I like what God has chosen for me. I like what God does with me. That's my religion. You see, my relationship determines how I make my religion applicable to my life. My religion is my relationship with the Lord. My religion is determined by the choices I make with God, and together we decide how I will live my life. That's what religion is. How I live my life is religion. It is the Christian religion. So we call it Christianity because it's Christ in you and me. It's the fact of a risen Savior that has caused me to come to a realization of God my Father that I can ask Him to direct me according to Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 in the way I should go so I would walk according to His will and not my will be done. So I wouldn't lean on my own understanding with that. Rather, I would choose to have the mind of Jesus, the mind of Christ, that I would be able to discern the things that are important to God in order to please Him, which is what my religion is all about knowing Him, and knowing Him whom God has sent. It's funny because that's also the definition of what Jesus said eternal life is. Interesting, when you try to make something out of nothing, which religion versus relationship, you don't find that in Scripture. You don't find the contradiction, neither do you find religion actually treated as bad, nor do you find relationship treated as greater you find the realization that Jesus says that you should be one with the Father, that you should be one with the Son, that you should be one with each other, that you should have a unity, and that the love of God would cause men to draw, would draw men to repentance and cause them to become one and known by who they, whose disciples they are in that they have love for one another. So love would be the unifying binding factor because God is love. And so, if we had love in our hearts, we would unify in the body of Christ over the very aspect of loving Jesus with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and loving the Father who sent Him. That's my religion in a nutshell. Sanctify them through Thy truth. Thy word is truth. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Let the word of Jesus dwell in you richly in all wisdom. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereunto according to thy word. With my whole heart have I sought thee. Oh, let me not wonder from thy commandments. When wisdom enters into your heart and knowledge is pleasant unto your soul, discretion shall preserve you and understanding shall keep you. My foot hath held his steps, 
His ways have I kept and not declined. Neither have I gone back from the commandment of his lips. I have esteemed the words of his mouth more than my necessary food. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for thy testimonies are my meditations. If you continue in my word, then you are my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The reality of freedom is not in the capability of doing anything you please and wanting to do it, but rather to submitting ourselves unto the will of the Father and allowing Him to choose those places that we could be the expression of His love to the world and manifesting Jesus to an entire generation that is perishing. The times they are changing and it's getting worse. It's time for us to put away and put aside childish things, whether vain traditions, whether argumentations, whether silly doctrines or dogmas, and stick with the things that are important to God. Those choices to do what Jesus said to do, to go and to teach all nations, baptizing in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, to make disciples of all nations, to share the news that Jesus is coming soon, but to share the gospel so that the salvation that we've been given through grace would be made manifest to those that whether they choose to accept Jesus or not, they will have heard the news that they did not need perish and wind up in hell, but they could have chosen heaven today. It's up to us, really, to make proof of our faith, to demonstrate our religion by our relationship. Our relationship will always be demonstrated by our religion, and our religion ought to be the manifestation of Jesus in the flesh in us. God Emmanuel is in us. God Emmanuel wants to live through us. The Spirit of God wants us to get out of His way so that He could reveal today what He would say to people that you meet every day. Would you allow God to take over your body, your mind, your soul, your hands, your feet, your thought processes, and commit it to Him this day to walk in His Spirit and not your own? That's the reality of my religion. And my religion is this, that I will trust in the Lord with all my heart. I will not lean in my own understanding, but in all my ways I will acknowledge Him, and He directs my path. I choose not to do those things that others may do, and others can do, but I cannot. For the things that I do, I choose to do with God as God leads me. But I choose not to do those things that I would normally do without God leading me. For I have found that in the actions that I take whenever I have made a mistake, it has always been without God that I've done it, and that I've had to backtrack or redact what I've done or what I've said, and to ask God to forgive me and to change the consequences of the choices that I made so that they would be used for His glory, despite the mistake that I might have made. My religion is simple. It's to follow Jesus all the days of my life. My religion will always be my religion. It will be that which I have determined between God and I in our relationship together that makes my life come closer to walking with Him daily in a more personal and intimate way every single day of my life until the day that He calls me home and I find Him face to face and I get to say to Him, thank you. And He gets to say to me, well done.